Hello, everybody. Josh Neighbors here from the Locked On Nationals podcast here on WSA9sports.com for another Nationals series recap. This weekend, the Nationals picked up their first sweep of the season, a three-game sweep over the Miami Marlins in D.C. That makes it four straight wins for the Nationals. It gets their record to 12-12 overall. They are now in first place. They were going to have a share of first place no matter what happens in the Phillies and Mets game, which is yet to happen as I record this. But the Nationals will have a share of first place, which is pretty inconceivable considering what the Nationals have gone through this year with injuries and that COVID pause to start off the year. This weekend, the Nationals got it done on Friday night with a 2-1 to victory over the Marlins, and pitching was the big story in that game, uh, as well as some timely offense. But John Lester made his return to the Nationals, made his debut to the Nationals, rather, His first game in a Nats uniform, he goes five innings, five hits, two walks, one K, but does not give up a run. The bullpen stays strong, and uh, they give up a run in extra innings, but despite that, it didn't matter. Uh, They were able to get it done thanks to a two-run walk-off home run from Kyle Schwarber in the bottom of the 10th. It's the second time he's done that. It's the second time he's done it on a Friday night, and he also did it at home for the second time. So uh, Kyle Schwarber has not had a great year so far, but has had two really clutch hits, two walk-off hits that have secured victories for the Nationals. On Saturday, much easier, a 7-2 win where the offense was clicking the entire way. Uh, Josh Bell finally got it going. He had two hits, two for four, drove in four runs. uh, And Patrick Corbin, seven strong innings, gave up two earned runs, uh, 93 pitches by far, his best outing of the year, in my opinion, uh, just with his control and, and how he worked through some adversity as well. So that was a strong outing, and the Nationals win that one 7-2. You're, you're seeing a theme here. The Nationals only allowed three runs uh, up to this point, and only one of the, or excuse me, two of them were earned. Then you go ahead to Sunday. Max Scherzer, a complete game, uh, sees the Nationals win 3-1 to one in this contest. Uh, and, and in this game, I mean, Max was fantastic. He was efficient. He was economic, whatever word you like to use. Nine innings, five hits, nine Ks. One home run allowed, which came in the ninth. But still, a complete game. His first complete game since 2018. It saw the Nationals secure the 3-1 to one victory. Ryan Zerman's three-run home run was the difference maker when it comes to scoring. That came off of outstanding young pitcher Trevor Rogers who uh, pitched pretty well, but uh, the Nationals were able to chase him because of their timely hitting. And also Zerman, uh, just a great guy when it comes to hitting lefties, an awesome uh, weapon to have. And against the lefty Rodgers, uh, you know, Zerman made it, made him pay as he has against so many left-handers before him. So 3-1 win with the Nationals. Once again, they get to 12 and 12. They'll have an off day tomorrow on Monday, and then they have a three-game set with the Braves at Nationals Park, a key set to see if the Nationals can put some space between them and teams like the Braves and the Mets and the Phillies, or if things go the other way, you know, they'll kind of go back down to earth. But right now, four in a row for the Nats uh, in their first series sweep of the year against the Marlins at home. Make sure you guys check out the podcast. It's called Locked On Nationals. You can find it wherever you all get your podcasts. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Josh Neighbors underscore, and also you can follow the show at LO underscore nationals. Until next time, my friends, please stay safe.